Earlier this month, the RBA released the minutes of their meeting for March. As we know, they decided to leave the cash rate on hold in March after having dropped the cash rate in February, their first meeting of the year, to 2.25%. Now that was the first movement we've seen of the cash rate in 18 months. Now it's always interesting to pick up on the tone of these releases from the RBA. Have a look at these comments. In considering whether or not to reduce the cash rate further at this meeting, members saw benefit in allowing some time for the structure of interest rates and the economy to adjust to the earlier change. The RBA then goes on to mention the Sydney investor market in particular, and they also make mention of Melbourne, suggesting that they're doing quite well. Have a look at this comment. The composition of these markets remains skewed to investor activity, especially in Sydney. And the RBA also acknowledges a solid pace of price growth in Melbourne. So as you can see, it's a very different market between the two coasts. Sydney in particular is very tight. In fact, they have less stock on the market than they did this time last year. So it's very much a seller's market. Over to the west, it's a complete opposite. There are some great opportunities out there because of the stock levels that are currently on the market. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the cash rate. Economists at the moment are 50-50 on whether the RBA will actually drop the cash rate to 2% in April. However, they're 100% in agreement with the fact that if they do not drop in April, they will drop in May. And that in itself will be interesting to see as it'll be Joe Hockey's second budget and there may be some bad news just around the corner in that budget. So let's see how the market takes that news. I'm Iggy Damiani, I'll see you next week.